Hello guys, uh, welcome back again. Uh, in this today's session, I'm gonna quickly demonstrate on how you can set up your ready lab or how you can do your lab setup on your own laptop or, or desktop. Uh, in my previous session, I explained about how to set up your two node rack uh, with the ASM clusterware installed on that using your grid user. Now I'm gonna explain about how you are gonna use this uh, rack setup with ASM and database using your grid user and then the Oracle user. So this is again two node rack setup. Uh, Ready Lab is available in our Google Drive. You just need to download this particular uh, software, this particular setup, that's a zip file, the RAR file. You have to download it locally on your laptop or desktop. Once you download it, you have to unzip that one. Uh, once you unzip it, your lab will be ready in your own laptop or desktop and then you can use that uh, two node rack setup. This is a two node rack setup with ASM is installed. That's a cluster which is installed with your grid user. And then the, there's a database is created with the Oracle user. So just to avoid the time delay. So I really downloaded this rack setup with ASM and database using grid and Oracle user. I'm just going to extract that file extract here. The moment which whichever the directory you want, like you know, the moment whichever directory you download that file, and then you can just unzip that one. It'll extract that particular uh, rack uh, directory. Inside that, you can see your disk one, two, three, and then your Oracle Lab one, Oracle Lab two. These are your cluster nodes. Everything will be like get uh, installed, and then uh, you can set up them using your Oracle uh, VM virtual box. You just need to import those, you just need to add those hosts, Oracle Lab 1 and Oracle Lab 2, your two node rack setup is ready. So let's uh, get this unzip completed. And then when the unzip is completed, we can start with our uh, setup. Right, so it has a three disk here. If you see like disk one, disk two, and disk three, disk one will be like for your uh, three GB disk, which is for your OCI disk group. And then disk two will be of 20 GB disk, which is for your data disk group. And then this three will be of a 10 GB disk, which is for your record disk group. These are the three disk with the uh, uh, three different disk groups. And right now you can see the Oracle Lab 1, that's your cluster node one, which is getting unzipped. Once the Oracle one la Lab 1 is ready, and then it'll unzip that Oracle Lab 2, and then your setup is ready. So you can directly use your Oracle VM virtual manager, and then you can uh, use your React setup on your own laptop or desktop. And then if I go back to our uh, Google Drive here, uh, we have three different uh, ready lag setup is available here. You can use any one of that. Uh, this one, first one, what I'm talking about, the rack setup with ASM using grid user. It has two node rack setup. It has installed with ASM uh, libraries. It has installed with your uh, two node cluster where setup and your ASM is running on that using grid user. And then you can create your own database on that. And then the second one is a rack setup with ASM and database using Oracle user. And then using the single Oracle user, we have configured two node rack setup. Uh, your grid and then Oracle both are running with your Oracle user. And the third one is again two node rack setup where your ASM and database were running with the two different users. ASM is running with your grid user. That's your cluster where setup is done with your grid user. And then your database is installed or database is running with your Oracle user. So I'm, I'm demonstrating this one. Of uh, the rack setup with the ASM and database uh, in this particular uh, session here. It's just unzipping here, Oracle Lab 2. Right now it is unzipping your Oracle Lab 2 here. If I go back here, your Oracle Lab 1, Oracle Lab 2, these are the two, uh, uh, two uh, what we can say, uh, two cluster nodes which will be like used uh, for your rack setup here. Right, so your unzip is done here. Your Oracle Lab 1, Oracle Lab 2, that's our cluster node 1 and cluster node 2. And then these are your state disk all ready. And then we'll go back to your Oracle VM virtual box. Click on this plus machine button and plus symbol, or you can add this plus symbol here. Anything is fine. Click on add and then go to that directory where you unzipped. So I'm just going to go here and then go inside your Oracle Lab 1 and then select this a blue icon here, Oracle Lab 1. Your Oracle Lab 1 is ready. And then similarly, machine plus button, and then again, go to that lab where you downloaded Oracle Lab 2, and then again, this blue icon here, and then your Oracle Lab 1 and Oracle Lab 2, both are ready. But you can observe here, your disks are inaccessible here. Disk 1, disk 2 are like inaccessible here. So what you can do, uh, you can go ahead and then uh, choose those disks. You can uh, choose those disks here, uh, and then you can select those disks, whatever disk you have want, you wanted. Right now, like uh, if I once again go here, Oracle Lab 1 is, this one is inaccessible. Choose the disk and then uh, 
like these three risks are like inaccessible here. And then what you can do directly, you can go here, uh, machine, and then Oracle Virtual Media Manager here. And then these three disks, you can go ahead and then remove these three disks. Uh, right now it is, it not allow you to remove here. Uh, first you can go back here, uh, click on this edit uh, settings here, go to storage, and then you can remove all of these disks, whatever attached here, you can just remove them from node one, so node two, and then similarly do it on node one as well, uh, storage, and then go ahead and remove this disk. Right, you are you have removed that disk now, and then go to your uh, file, um, virtual media manager, and then whatever these disks are inaccessible, go ahead and remove. Now you can get the remove option here. Just remove it, remove it, and then remove it. Right, all the disks are removed now. And now you can go ahead and add those three disks, whatever you have it. Like click on this plus button here, and then go to the same Malik lab rack, wherever you unzip, you can go ahead and add those three disks. Disk one, add again, and then disk two, and then again plus button, and then disk three, like all the disks one, two, three are ready now. And then make sure that these three, all three disks are like shareable, all right, shareable. Then go back here, make it shareable. And then this three, make it shareable, and then apply. Like if you check it out, this one again, shareable, apply, this two, uh, shareable, apply, and then this three, it's shareable, right? Once you make all those three disks are shareable, close it. And now you can go back and then add those three disks here. Go to your storage and then controller SATA here. Click on this plus button. You're gonna add that disk one first and then disk two and then a disk three. Done, so your three disks are added here. Similarly on node two, go to settings and then storage and then controller SATA. Click on this plus symbol here, disk one and then disk two and then disk three. So just add them and then click okay. So your setup is ready now. You can go ahead and start your VMs. Your node one, you're getting started now here. Similarly, go to node two and then start it here. Your node one is getting started here. And then your node two is getting started here. I'll just uh, keep it down here. This is your node one. This is your node two. And make sure that if you assign 8 GB minimum, then your VMs will work perfectly fine. So if it's lesser than 8 GB, then uh, you know uh, it'll be like very there will be lag or delay in uh, starting and shutting or any of these operations. Right, like your node one is ready here, and then log in with your root user or grid user or Oracle user, whichever user you prefer. I'll just log in with the root here, and then another node two also. I'll just log in with the root user here. Right, so your node one is ready here, and then node two also is getting ready here. Right, node two also ready here, and then go to node one, go on this terminal, and then do if config, and then you can see all those IPs, public IPs, private IPs, scan IPs, and all those BIPs, all those IPs will be ready here. And then go ahead and do your PS-EF uh, grep smon, and then your cluster is getting started here. And then, uh, what you can do, you can get this particular IP 192.168.1.10, copy that one, and then you can open your uh, mobile XTERM and you can connect using mobile XTERM as well. I'll just take a new session, SSH session here, and then I'm just gonna pass my root user and then the password here. All right, so this is your node one, Oracle Lab one started here, and then go to your Oracle Lab two. Again, do IF config here on node two, IF config. And then you will get all these IPs, your public IPs, public IPs, private IPs, and scan IPs and VIPs. Just take this uh, 1.11, that's your node to a public IP. Just connect with that one. All right, so your node one and node two both are ready here. And then wait for your uh, database to database and cluster to start. And then if I go back here, PS if any grep S1. Right, your node two, all the your ASM2 and database are all started. And node one, your database is not coming up. Probably there might be some issue with your uh, your uh, uh, network or, or something. Just wait for a few more minutes and then or else you can do a net 
network service restart go back here on your node one right it started here you no need to do anything your asm one started here go back again here I have config S1. Okay, your ASM is started here, and you have to wait for your database to come up. So your database dev two b two is already started here, and then you can do locate uh, alert underscore dev db one dot log. This is your uh, instance one. Uh, if the locate command is not working, you can go directly into user one app uh, Oracle Diag RDBMS and dev db dev db, and then the trace. This is your uh, alert log location alert. So this is your alert log. You can tail that alert log, tail if and f, and you can see it is getting started now here. So if I cancel and then do ls if and lpr, sorry ps if and f grep s mon, your dev db is started here, and then you can do set the environment to plus asm, plus asm one, crctl stat resource if and t, and you can see all the cluster resources are uh, running, and then it is able to accessible to all the databases. If you do crctl check crs. And then all four services are ready on node one, and then similarly on node two, or uh, dot or inv, uh, plus asm two. Sorry, uh, dot or inv, inv, dot or inv, uh, plus asm two. Again, do crs etl check crs, check crs, and then all the four services are online here. Crs etl stat resource. Stat resource hyphen hyphen t hyphen init. All the cluster demands are up and running here. And then same command you can run it on node one as well. So everything is up and running here. And then again once again ps hyphen f grep s mon and your dev db. You can connect your Oracle user here now. Oracle dot or inv and then you will set the environment to dev db one and then do srv ctl uh, status and database hyphen d. And DevDB, and then you can see your DevDB instance one, DevDB instance two, running on your node one and running on node two, and then you can verify it using your CRSTL stat resource. Your DevDB, it's online on both the node one and node two, which is in open mode. Your database is up and running, your cluster is up and running, all the cluster services are up and running, and then one more thing to verify: connect your grid and then connect your uh, connect to grid user, and then set the environment to your plus ASM one dot or INV. Uh, plus asm1 uh, asm cmd hyphen p and then lstg you can see all of those disks data ocr and rico so everything is ready uh, this is a simple way to set up your lab just go to our uh, uh, you know google drive and just download these ready vms and then you can set up your own lab uh, in a in a just a matter of few seconds or few minutes your lab will be ready on your own laptop or desktop and you can do any operations and in fact you can access your VMs through GUI mode here by connecting to your lab one and lab two, or you can access even you can access those VMs using your PuTTY sessions or mobile X terms, and then you can do any kind of operations. You can do whatever operation you want it here. All right, so that's a quick intro about uh, how you can do or how you can make use of your ready labs or ready VMs which are available in our Google Drive. All right, uh, thank you guys. We'll uh, we'll discuss few more topics in our next uh, session.